Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will discuss about the unit step function or something called as the second shifting theorem. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics Tapper Institute. You can either contact contact me either of my email IDs are there. So this lecture is the continuation of the previous ones, which is related to the transformations are there. So you can watch the previous lectures under the channel name Dr. Harish Garg. Playlist is Mathematics Two. What we have discussed so far is we can find the Laplace transformation of the function f of t, which satisfied the piecewise continuous and the exponential orders are there. But what will happen if your function is a uh, discontinuous type? That is, whenever the left hand limit and the right hand limits are not same. So whenever these limits are not same, then we call as the jump discontinuity at a point a, and the the difference between them is called as the magnitude of the jump. Whenever there is a function of the discontinuous kind, then we will always think about to express that function in terms of the unit step function, or also called as the Heaviside's functions are there. How you can do that? Firstly, let let us discuss what is a unit step function or Heaviside function. A function h is said to be Heaviside if it is denoted like h of t. Whenever t is greater than zero, it is a one. Otherwise, they are zero. Clearly, see that this is a discontinuous function are there because at a time at a t is equal to zero, the this value is a one. While as a t zero minus, it will be my zero. So this is discontinuous. Or in general, whenever there is a point a, then after this point a, the value will be my one, and otherwise it's a zero. And it is generally denoted as h of t minus a, or sometimes it is denoted as u of t minus a, or this is also be denoted as u of t. Also, this is denoted as u of a subscript t, or sometimes it is denoted as h of a here. What is the meaning of that? Is if if I say how you can write this function in the in terms of the unit step is so whenever this value is pi, so whenever the value is greater than or equal to pi, the answer is cos of t, otherwise zero. Same for here. Whenever the function value is greater than of the two, then it is my t cube, otherwise zero. Or it is just like say on and off. As we can see in our day to day life, sir. Now, how you can express any of the discontinuous function in terms of the unit step? So, say if you have some discontinuous function at the b, then f1 and f2 can have any value. Then you can express these functions like of this f1 times of the unit step function at the point a minus unit step function at the b. Second case, that's why it's a plus f2 unit step function at the point b. Minus unit step function at the point C, or instead of the U, you can take it as a H. That's the same thing are here. How you can find the Laplace transformation of the unit step function? So since H is my here, now by the definition of the unit step function, you can start from here, zero to infinity e raised to power minus s t of this. So if you expand them from the zero to a, its value is zero, and from a to infinity, its value is my here. So can you find that? Yes, this is there. So this is the one of the most important result. You should remember that Laplace transformation of this is nothing but minus a s upon s. What is the a is here value. Same thing, you can find the Laplace transformation of the unit of this. You can write like say difference of this. Then by using the linear property, so this can be written as like of here. This can be written like here. So s can be taken as a here is the required task. Now, based on this uh, step function, we can define the shifting second theorem. What is that? Whenever you have the Laplace transformation of the function, then you can, if the step, if the step function is involved in the function, then you can simply write as e raised to power minus a s of the Laplace of the f. How you can prove that? That's a very simple. We can start from here. Uh, this is the Laplace definition. Now, what is the value of this? Its value is my one. Whenever t is greater than of the a, this is my a. Sorry, this is my f of t minus a, and otherwise zero whenever it is a less than of here. So I can write this value as from zero to a, and from a to infinity. So this value will be my zero, and this value becomes my here from a to this of here. Now since I need the Laplace transformation, so I can take t minus of a is say u, or you can consider as a y. Then d of t is nothing but the d y. So what is the limit? Is whenever a the value of y is zero and so on. 
since this is the integration with respect to y so i can take an common as of s of a is common so the right part is here so do you remember that what is that this is nothing but my laplace transformation of the f what is the laplace transformation of the f is f of s what is the meaning of that how you can see in this so see this is the couple of the examples so we will discuss about the 7 to 8 examples so that you may understand it clearly first of all can you write this as a step functions yes you can write like this way because its value is greater than 3 it's a something otherwise zero so i can write like this way now there are the two methods are there we will discuss the two method first method is you can how you can find the laplace transformation of here is you can see by the definition this function is nothing but the laplace transformation of f make sure that whenever this is a t minus a it is also the t minus a then you can find the laplace of here so here this is f t minus 3 this is also the t minus 3 so you can simply find the laplace transformation of this is what is the laplace of this is e raised to power minus of 3s i can write like here and into laplace of t square because this is f of t here so what is the laplace transformation of this this is nothing but my gamma function of 3 upon s3 gamma function of 3 is my 2 upon s cube is the right answer what is the other way is that for in this example you can see that this t minus 3 and here is also the t minus that is the same value are there but in general it is not be the same like here can you express this part in terms of the unit step function like of this way. now what is the first part is you can try to write the laplace of here how you can do that you can firstly write the laplace of this e raised to power minus a s what is the a a is my pi you can compare them with respect to here so this is my minus pi s now since this value is not be the t minus pi this value is not be the same so what you can do you can simply replace you can simply if, if they are not same then you can simply replace the value of t by t plus a in this case a is my pi so i can replace the value of here as of this value now can you uh, can you write the what is the value of the cos pi plus t it lies in the third quadrant so it's a negative minus of cos t so this value is nothing but my minus of cos t what is the laplace transformation of the cos t all of you know that this is s upon s square plus one is the right answer what is another method is second method is you have to firstly express this t in terms of t minus pi how i can write that you can i can simply write i can simply subtract minus pi and i can add plus pi here this is the way you can write them like of this now since this we need them now what is that if i consider this as a x so what is the value of the cos x plus pi this is nothing but my minus cos of x so i can write this as minus cos of t minus pi of this value now by using the shifting second theorem these values both are same so what is that now by shifting second theorem it can be written as minus pi s this is minus laplace of f of t so this is f of t is my cos of t are there so what is the laplace of the cos of t you can see what is the laplace of the cos t is nothing but my s upon here and you can see both the answers are same look at the other one is there so again we will see that two met two methods are there again now you can see this is in the form of the intervals v so can you write this in terms of step function yes you can write as of h of lower minus h of this so t minus 0 is my h of t and so on now again we can write the two methods firstly method is you can simply use this here what is the laplace of this i can write as a 0 so this is e raised to power minus of 0 is nothing but 1 what is the lap okay i can write like for you here what is the laplace of this part firstly minus laplace of here now how you can write that since this is zero so it can be written as of this laplace of t i can replace them to be the t plus a in this case a is my zero so t plus of zero what is that e raised to power zero is my one what is that laplace of this is one upon s minus a what is that this is t minus 1 so this is 1 s i can replace the value of here in this case is t plus 1 here so you can see i can write like of here 
since we need the laplace of the hair so i can written as of this form i can take e as the outside what is the remaining is laplace of e t that is nothing but 1 upon s minus 1 is the required answer what is another way is i can express this quantity in terms of here so i can expand this as t minus 1 and i always recommended this one since e this is constant this is outside here is t minus 0 i can write as a t minus 0 so what is that this is here laplace of e raised to power t by using a shifting second theorem e raised to power minus 1s laplace transformation of e t so by using the shifting second theorem you can simply write like uh, this one you can see both the answers are same another way you can write this way again you can write this in the shifting second theorem or unit step function like of this now I can open this. Now again there are the first method and the second method. If you want to the apply the, this one, this is a t minus 1. I can write this value as of here t minus 1 plus 1 and this value as of cos pi t minus 2 plus of 2. Now if you open this bracket what will happen? This is pi times t minus 1 plus pi. What is the value of this? Cos pi plus something is minus of cos pi times of this how you can solve this value this is nothing but my cos of this plus of 2 pi what is the value of the cos 2 pi plus of this this is nothing but cos of here so i can write this value as of this this value as of this like of this way you can see this is a negative sign now you can see this value are same this value are same so we can apply the shifting second theorem what will happen this is minus of 10 what is the laplace transformation of cos pi of t that is nothing but my s upon s square plus a square what is the laplace transformation of here is this this value is for corresponding to here this value is corresponding to here these are right answers look at the another one is there you can simply write this function as of the step function now again there are the two ways Firstly, I can write as a shifting second theorem. I can write this value as e raised to the power minus 3s. Replace the value of t to be the t plus of 3. Now, I can open this value a plus b whole square. I can write like this way. So, what is the Laplace of the t square? It is nothing but my here. Laplace of the constant value is nothing but my k by s. Laplace of this is my here. What is the second method is? I can express this quantity in terms of t minus 3. So I can write this value as of t minus 3. So I can write like of this. How can I write? I can subtract minus and plus of this. So this value is of t minus 3. That's fine. But now here also we need in terms of t minus 3. So this is my minus, minus of 18. But it means we need the plus of 18 also. So this is minus of 9. This is plus 18. I can write this as plus of 9. Now everywhere where the t is written, it, it is written in the form of the t minus 3. So what is that? This is e raised to power minus of 3s. What is that? This is Laplace of the t square. This is 9 by s. This is Laplace of 6 of t by using the shifting second theorem. And you can see these are the same as that of this one. So by shifting second theorem, we can get this right answer. Look at this another here. How you can express this in terms of the unit step function? We can firstly write the first part here. H uh, unit step function of the lower minus of the upper plus second part unit step function of here. Now if you open this bracket, I can say this part and this part can be common. I can write here. Now again there are the two ways. Again I can see this is can be taken as a common. I can write like here. So this is a t minus 1 this is already t minus 1 that's fine this is already fine this all are fine so we can apply the shifting second theorem so this is e raised to power minus what is the laplace of the t this is 2 this is the laplace of this is the shifting second theorem laplace of t this is e raised to power minus 3s laplace of the t now you can apply the shifting second theorem you can apply you can compute the laplace of the t is nothing but my 1 by s this is my 1 by s sorry 1 by s square this is again 1 by s square so 1 by s square is common you can take like this way is the right same if if there are the more than two functions are there again you can write them in the similar manner the first function 
unit step function of the 0 minus unit step function of the 2 and so on. Now if you open this one, now you can see this is a t minus 0. Can I write this part as of the t minus 0? You can easily write. I Can I write this part of the t minus 2? So if I write like this way, what is the meaning of that? I have to add the another part side which I have to add it. I can write this part as of t minus 3. So this is minus of 6 and minus of 11. So it means it's minus of 5. So I can expand them in terms of the Laplace here. Otherwise, this is the first method. Otherwise, you can write this simply as of this Laplace of 2 plus t square. I have to use replace t plus of 0 here. In this case, I can to replace t, with t plus 2. So this is the Laplace of here. This is 4 of this. I have to replace this value to the t to be the t plus of 3. I have to write like here. Now you can open this bracket. You will get this expression are here. You can open this, you will get here. And you know the Laplace transformation of this and this are. Uh, this is, you can do it yourself. Once you will compare them, you can see after the comparison, you can compare this. For example, you can write this part of this, h of this and here. Now, based on this, you can uh, apply either of the methods. You will see this is the expression you can compute and check whether this is the right answer or not. So this is the way you can solve this shifting second theorem here. You can find some other videos related to this in my channel, Dr. Harish Garg. Channel playlist name is The Mathematics 2. All you can find through the channel name link, Dr. Harish Garg. Till then, you can simply share this video with your friends. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.